Meanwhile, disgraced former Congressman George Santos back in court today with the judge making some very big decisions about the jury in his upcoming fraud trial. Fox News Jody Goldberg has the latest from the federal courthouse in Central Islip. Embattled ex-Congressman George Santos walked into federal court for a hearing the last expected before his fraud trial next month. During the 30 or so minute conference, the judge ruled the jury will not be selected using a lengthy questionnaire as the defense had requested. And once chosen, 12 jurors and six alternates will have their identities kept secret from the public to protect their safety. Santos, who wore a blue suit, left quickly. His attorneys had no comment. Not today. Prosecutors who have handed over more than a million pages of records are pushing to admit as evidence some of Santos's lies made during his campaign ahead of the trial. Santos has pleaded not guilty to 23 counts, including stealing from campaign donors, using contributions for personal expenses, and collecting unemployment benefits while working. Corruption is the key, and fraud is just, you know, the defense is waiting on whether Nancy Marks, Santos's former campaign treasurer, will be called to testify. She pleaded guilty last year to conspiring with Santos. Former prosecutor Imran Ansari weighs in. If Nancy Marks testifies for the prosecution, I think that's going to be testimony that the defense is going to have a hard time rebutting. Uh, and of course, the defense wants a fair trial. More than 350 potential jurors will show up for jury duty on September 9th. Opening arguments are set for September 16th. The trial could last about a month. The judge asked both sides to streamline the process. Now, Santos, if found guilty, could face a max sentence of 20 years in prison. Outside of federal court in Central Islip, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.